Hi guys, my name is Nia Lo, and I'm here at the Comrades Expo representing Caxton Local Media. Let's go inside and have a look at what's going on today. Hi guys, I'm here with Caxton Local Media Branch Manager, Nicole Berishon, and she's going to tell us a little bit more about the Comrades 2022 booklet that we've put together at Caxton Local Media. Nicole, could you tell us um, a bit more about the thoughts behind this booklet and why Caxton has decided to put it together in this year's Comrades Marathon? Thanks Mia, um, it's great to be here first of all. Um, the last time we did a supplement like this was in 2019. Obviously very excited that we have comrades back again for us to be able to produce this. Um, the thoughts behind it is really just the fact that we are a local media company. We live and breathe local media. We wanted to showcase some of the profiles, the runners that we've been profiling in our papers um, this entire month so far. We wanted to put as much information into a jam-packed publication as possible. There is so much information out there. So, you know, put it all together. Handy little booklet, it's got a beautiful center spread map. Um, there's even a map where you can see the start finish. I'll show you two later. Um, and yeah, just awesome to be able to hand it out to everybody, have a little conversation, connect with the community, and then they can obviously grab some more puppies for their partners, their families, um, and keep it with them. So anytime, you know, if you want to read up some information or look at the map or get some advice, put it all in here. It also could kind of be like memorabilia for people down the line where they say I was at the 2022 Comrades, the 90 for that or Comrades Marathon. I think it's super nifty and cool and it's jam-packed with information. Absolutely and what you'll see is that we've got profiles. Um, this gentleman's from Durban North. Um, you know I'm sure he's going to be quite proud to have this as a keepsake um, for his kids and family to look as, as, as well. You know? And Nicole, can I ask you what you are looking forward to the most at this year's Comrades Marathon? Well, for me personally, um, I, am being, I am going to be a seconder for the first time. Um, seconding my partner who is running it for the fifth year. So I'm um, looking forward to that. Nervous about how I'm going to find help with all of that. I don't know, my handy guide's going to help me. Um, so yeah, that's probably one of the things that I'm most looking forward to. Just, you know, seeing him at the finish line and, and you know, being there. If it wasn't for our advertisers, we wouldn't be able to do this. It also gives them a platform to get their message out there to the people that have traveled from far away, the local residents. Um, and yeah, just a, a great keepsake for people that are running Comrades um, in 2022. And I'm sure they're very excited for the comeback. Hi guys, I'm here and I'm joined by Chris and Katie from the DHS Old Boys Running Club. Katie, could I ask you what you're most looking forward to as this will be your first comrades running this year? Hi guys, um, yeah, so I've been training, well, I entered comrades in 2020, so obviously it was cancelled because of COVID, so I'm just so excited to actually be running with all these thousands of people and with uh, spectators and yeah, just healthy and happy and just looking forward to a really good day. This will be Chris's second time running the Comrades Marathon. Chris, can I ask you what your favorite part about the event is? Uh, it's going to sound a little bit cliche, but the journey um, and uh, meeting new friends, making new friends. Uh, start off on this little idea to run 90Ks and, and, and next thing you know, you, you out there every weekend and you're meeting people and, and uh, it's, it's really special. Uh, the day itself, uh, the same thing, it's the people, it's the, it's the guys cheering you on on the sidelines, it's the water tables, it's the music, it's the vibe. Uh, I'm not going out there to break any records, just to have a great, fun day. We are now joined by Eugene Lekay from Brackenfall Running Club in Cape Town, the mother city. Eugene, I believe you have quite an interesting story when it comes to the comrades. Could you tell us a bit more about what number comrades this is for you and a bit more about your story? I started in 99 at the Comrades and this is my 10th attempt to get to green uh, in, in a row since 2013. I've previously finished 9 and um, if I had to finish my previous uh, Comrades 
It's a most of it nine minutes. I would not have been here today. So I think this year will be my year to finish the competition. We are now joined by Soro Kumalo from the Hollywood Bets Running Club here in Durban City. Soro will be running his first Comrades Man. So can I ask you what are you what motivated you to run the Comrades Marathon for the first time? First I see all my colleagues in the world running and I said I want to make a history for my family and for my kids to know that it is important to run the Comrades once in a while or either we can add some more time as long as you fit. And Cyril, what was the training process for this very, very long but also epic race? My training process, it was very good because the people I'm, I'm training with is the top runners. They always, they, they always ask me, I mustn't give up, I must keep on walking. When I, I find difficulties, but I mustn't stop, I keep on running. That's what I like from them. 